everybody. So today we'll be doing answering the last question of the PSLE comprehension question, okay? So I want you guys to look at these questions, but before we look at these questions, which is, do you guys think that the last question of the PSLE is like really difficult? Like one of those that is like extremely difficult, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's because you guys need to do a lot of inference when it comes to that question, right? You have to do a lot of inference skills. So that's why it's very difficult. But it also it is also because the, the answer to the last question, right, actually comes from a lot of contextual understanding of the whole passage itself, okay? So if you look at this passage here, do you guys, let's read this passage, okay? Mingyang, do you want to read? I need you guys to read this passage because it will affect the way you understand the last question. Minyang, do you want to read? Yes, thank you, Minyang. All right, anybody else wants to read? Isaac? All right, Minyang, read this one first. Hello. Hi. What to read? This one here, can you see? I, I'm seeing the Tenopi live sharing is starting soon. Oh, so you've not been seeing. Okay, here, here you go. Can you see it now? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> there you go. There. The first paragraph. Mm -hmm. Lily sat in the corner of the classroom as she saw her classmates leaving ex excitedly for recess. Unlike her classmates, who had started warming up to each other on the first day of school, that whole morning had been hell for her. Now, with the thought of having to speak to all the store vendors by herself for the first time in her life left her motionless. As Carol was rushing towards the door, she caught sight of Lily, whose face was pale as a sheet, and she turned back to introduce herself and find out what was wrong. Since then, Carol became Lily's mouthpiece, reading her every need and answering Lily before she could. Thank you. All right. So, sure. Okay. Uh, Apra Maya, one second. Okay. So, if you see this passage here, so Elise wants to read. Okay, let me get Elise and then Apra Maya. Okay, after we read this. All right, Elise, you go first. All right, Heiko, one second. All right. For many years, Lily appreciated Carol's help. However, as she grew older, Lily felt more and more shadow of Carol's assistance. She would have her own thoughts and ideas to share, but was always cut off by Carol before she had the vo chance to voice them. Many who were close to them always encouraged Lily to finally speak up, but Lily just could not for she felt indebted to Carol. Thank you so much, Elise. And Apramea, read this one. Raise your hand. All right, here you go. I'm assuming that we all agree that I should be the leader of this project, Carol announced after we settled into our seats. Mrs. Lee had given them instructions to break into groups of four to design a poster for a fundraising event their school would be conducting. From the corner of her eyes, Lily saw Jeffrey roll his eyes. Jeffrey had always been one of those who appreciated Lily's talent. Once Jeffrey took Lily's artwork, which he had found, and presented it to Mrs. Lee, who then put it up on the class notice board. Thank you. Upper Mayor, do you want to read this paragraph too? Since you are often the group leader, maybe Lily should be the leader this time around. She is also very creative, Jeffrey suggested, attempting to hide his irritation. Thank you so much. All right, Heiko, read the next two paragraphs. There you go, Heiko. I am not sure. I am not sure. I can hear you. Press uh, I have as much experience as Carol in these projects. Lily quickly rebooted uh, fully aware that Carol was watching her intently as to how she would respond. Lily gripped 
with fear that she would offend her best friend. Hastily declined the role no matter how many times she had secretly wished for her talents to be appreciated. It is settled then. Lily, you are to work on the design of the poster with Jeffrey. Chris and I will work on the write-up about the fundraiser, Carol. Immediately burst into boss mode, Jeffrey and Lily huddled together at another table and started brainstorming on some attractive ideas for the poster design. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to skip this part of the story. So basically, you guys get the story, right? The story is that Lily is very... Lily is very shy and Carol is very commanding, right? Carol is like, I know, I know the best. I know, I know, okay? So let's just read the final two parts. So what happened was that Lily, Carol, like, Lily gave her artwork to Carol and Carol took a pencil and like scribbled over it because she said Lily's artwork was not good enough, all right? So let's just read the last two paragraphs and then I'll teach you guys how to answer the last question of the PSLE. Anybody wants to read this one? Isaac, Samson, Toshin, one of you want to read this too? Or uh, Upper Mia, you want to read again? And Minya, you want to read again? Okay, Upper Mia can read again. All right, here you go. Mia, can read. Okay, go ahead. Lily. Lily, still uncertain of herself, took a deep breath and weighed the possibilities in her head. From the corner of her eyes, Lily saw a sparkle of excitement in Jeffrey's eyes and a white smirk, smile across his face. She knew what that smile meant and in response, she nodded in his direction, hoping he understood that she was thanking him and accepted Carol's offer. Despite her uncertainty, she felt the task less daunting than she did before. Thank you. Very nicely read. And Mingyang, last one. All right, here you go, Mia. As the dust settled, the students went back to their seats to continue brainstorming. After a few moments, Carol walked over to Lily and asked tentatively, Lily, what do you think of my ideas? Lily smiled. From that moment forward, Lily found a voice within her that she knew that she did not know she had. Thank you. All right. So let's now go to the last question. So typically the last question, okay, it looks like that, right? It, it somehow has a phrase and a quote that kind of makes sense, but kind of doesn't make sense. It kind of needs you to know the whole context of this whole story, right? So never mind. Don't worry. The moment it is a very, it's a very tricky thing, right? The final question is very tricky. So before you try to ex explain everything, first you must break down the quote, okay? So which is the one that you should be explaining? Look at this phrase here. Which part should you be explaining? Is there only one part or two part in this phrase? Anybody? Lily found a voice within her that she did not know she had. Wait, how many parts is there to this phrase? One or two? Or three? <laughs> Anybody? One, okay. Some of you say one. Anybody else? Just type a number, one, two, or three. Just pick a number and put it there. Okay, very good. So this here says, found a voice within her and then the second part is, did not know she had. So because it is a two-mark question, you need to explain this phrase. So the first part here actually says, found a voice. So when you say she found a voice, that means she became more... Anybody? If I say, teacher, I found my voice, teacher Esther. Teacher Esther, I found my voice. Means I became... What do you guys feel? I became more... Yes, very good, me young. She became, yes, more confident, right? Confident in, in what? Is it in fighting? Is it in shouting? In dancing? What is she more confident? Yes, in speaking up, okay? In speaking up, very good, okay? How about the se second one? 
she did not know she had. What does this part mean? Hmm. Did not know she had. What does that part mean? That means all the time, did she know? Last time she what? She did not know? Ah, she, <laughs> Ming Yang, she had what? She had the potential, yes, the potential of speaking up, right? Speaking up all along, okay? Yes, all along she had the voice, she had the potential, but she just didn't, she did not know, she did not have the confidence for it, okay? So how do you answer this question? So the first part, you explain the first part of the quote. You say, Lily became more confident in speaking up. That's the first part of the quote, right? Not knowing, okay, she did not know she had, right? Not knowing she had this potential all along. Do you guys understand now? So that's how you explain this. This will be another mark. This is how you explain this, right? You take this quote, you break it down into two parts. And then you explain what it means. She became more confident, not knowing that all these times she actually can do it. It's just that she's, she's scared of doing it, right? Okay. We still have a little bit more time. Okay, everybody understand? Does everybody understand? So we still have a little more time. I want to teach you guys one more thing. Okay. So let's look at this one here. Why was Jeffrey smiling smugly in line 53, right? So Jeffrey smiled smugly in line 53 see okay so which one is the key word in this in this question okay, if you want to be better at inference question you need to pick one of the keywords which one is the keyword is it smiling or is it smugly anybody yeah, it is smug, right? He's smug. Yes, he's like, hmm. And why was he being smug? Very good. He's smug, right? Why is he being smug? Because he knew he didn't really like Carol, right? Remember the first part of the story? Let me show you guys the first part of the story. So remember the first part of the story, right? He said, you know you can be leader also, right, Lily? You should not let Carol boss you around. So then after that, Carol, Lily shouted at Carol, how could you? How could you do that, right? Then he was very happy. <laughs> he was very happy, okay? He was very happy. He smiled smugly, okay? It's because he's happy that Lily is the leader instead of Carol. Do you understand? So you guys need to identify which one is the keyword in the question. And when you identify the keyword in the question, then you will be able to analyze it, okay? So don't worry about the last question in the PSLE. It's all the same. Just follow the steps. Step one, highlight the keyword. Step two, look for the evidence. Step three, paraphrase. And then step four, you can just make sure that you check your answer, okay? All right. It was really nice seeing you guys. We have come to the end of our Tenobite, Tenopi live sharing today. <laughs> <laughs> Tenopee live sharing today. Does anybody have any questions for teacher Esther in this thing? Okay, so if you feel that you do not still understand what is an, how to answer an inference question and you feel you need to know how to answer the inference question, please make sure you guys come and join our classes, okay? That's where I actually explain more of it, okay? Thank you. Thank you for coming today. Have a good night. Bye. Ooh. Right, Minyang, let me take this down. I want to see it. Thank you, Minyang. Bye. Bye bye.